you can see what's going on there. So that's a, that's how blend trees work, and, and there's no uh, there's no limit to the complexity that you can get uh, between them. Um, obviously, this is there's only one kind of blend at the moment. In uh, in future, I'd like to add different types of blends, such as um, additive blending, uh, and um, you know you could even put like IK um, information inside these blend trees and stuff like that as well to make animations even better. For the for now though, it's still it's still just blending. But on top of this, and I'm just going to stop this now. Oh, one other thing that you can actually do is you can actually do this real time. So now it's only that suggested. Yeah, so that's actually working in real time, which is kind of cool. Um, for now, though, I want to get rid of that and just reconnect that up that way. And we'll leave that there. Because what I want to do, it, it, it's all very good and well to do all that. But it doesn't make a lot of sense logically if you if you had to do all your animations in one blend graph, um, it wouldn't make a lot of, a lot of sense. So there's another kind of GUI uh, uh, facility that you can use called a state machine, and I'm going to create what's called a parent state machine here. I'll just bring up my project. Sorry, not my project, my hierarchy window. And if I create this is the create parent state machine. This used to be the root node. This used to be the, the first child of animation tree. Now there's a state machine there. So I can step up and I've gone to state machine. Now inside this state machine is the uh, the blend graph. I want to create a second one. And what I want to do, and I'll get you again. What I want to do is I'll give this a name. So we'll call this moving. And I want to give this one a name as well, and I'll call it idle. Okay, so inside of moving, you've got your moving blend graph. Um, inside of idle at the moment, we've got nothing. So I'll just quickly put something in. Um, let's just put a stand animation. We'll call it stand. And I'll create the velocity curves for it. Now you should be able to do this. But at the moment, that's not going to evaluate properly. So just I'm just going to cheat a bit and do a a blend between one uh, animation. So that'll actually feed straight through to output in this case. So now that sits underneath idle. But what I needed to do is I need to create a facility to transition between the two. So I can actually, by clicking these buttons, create a transition. Now excuse the kind of rudimentary uh, interface. This is indicating that there's a transition between going from moving to idle. That's what the I means there, input into idle. Um, Unity doesn't allow kind of very nice line uh, drawing inside the, the interface. Uh, so this is actually three boxes joined together to form a line. But inside this you can now specify um, a request button that you'll push in order to trigger this. So at the moment we don't have any animation request button, so I'm going to add one in here. And I'm going to call this to idle. Okay. Then during this transition, this is kind of a separate window. So these are global parameters, but the transition information is stored here. So on to idle, transition to idle. Okay. So when I press the to idle button, I want it to follow this transition and go to idle. And I want the transition to take one second. Now we need to create one on the other way back. So there we go, there's a second one. And you can have unlimited transitions. Um, and we actually want to go to moving here. So this is a, wait, this is a second animate or animation state request. And we want to go, we've got this transition selected. And when we go to moving, when we press that button, I want to make that transition. We'll, get, we'll make this one uh, three seconds just for demonstration purposes. So you can see here, we're clicking on that, we're clicking on that, we've got that. We should, hopefully, be good to go. So when I kick this off, you can see here now we've actually got the animation request sitting here. So we're starting, and this is indicated by the little star there with the moving state. Okay, you can see this is highlighted and when we click to idle, you can see it transitions across and it transitions to that different state um, 
uh, in the in the time that you allocated so to moving it actually takes the three seconds that we specified so you can see it takes a lot longer now you can analyze all this real time while it's going on as soon as you hit moving because underneath moving we've got this blend you can go to your different uh, to your different state uh, different animations in that by doing the blend so I can go to idle and I can start straight on running by having my control parameter here don't forget that this this ghost stop is now redundant because nothing's connected to it um, that's pretty much it I mean by doing this you could you could have state machines inside state machines I'll just give you a quick example of that actually so if we stop that inside moving we've got these walk run okay but we could actually bring another blend graph in here okay and we find out actually we don't want our walk we want a second blend graph so we can connect that in and we can throw in more animations inside here so we're doing and then we could connect our go stop to there so this is going to be a little bit weird I think but I'll just put in two new animations and the first and, I, and I'll give you that example so uh, this is going to be standing and this is going to be walking okay we're both set to loop yeah no, I'll just give them a name quickly the the GUI at this point is is functional without being pretty I suppose you say there's there's a couple of things that are annoying you can see here sometimes I'm kind of fighting with it but for the most part it's pretty stable now you can see we've got this blend graph here inside another blend graph inside a state machine and there's no reason you can't have a state machine inside a state machine or vice versa and it can theoretically be infinitely large so you can see here we start in the moving, moving. Um, there we go there but as soon as I go go stop again you can see inside it's it's looking at this blend graph now but we're actually inside this one it's still doing blends within here so it's blends within blends within blends if you like so well that's just a, a quick overview I mean don't forget that this guy is he's not moving on the spot he is actually um, moving in 3d space um, and those animations should all chain together really nicely and um, and cre hopefully create uh, um, better flowing better moving animations for you all right, so that's uh, that's it. That's a that's a brief how to. Um, the uh, the software is still being uh, worked on. Obviously, there's a lot more that you could do with it. But um, yeah, I think it's a pretty yeah, it's a pretty nice kind of start to it, I suppose. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.